Hello and welcome to how to calculate the monthly payment of a loan using Microsoft Excel. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. All right, now Excel provides the PMT or payment function to help us calculate the monthly payment, but the arguments can be sometimes a little confusing. So in this short video, I want to deconfuse, unconfuse, make them less confusing. So let's do this. Okay, let's say we have a loan amount of 100,000, an interest rate of 5%, and the number of years is 30, and we wanna calculate what the monthly payment is. We also wanna be able to change these values and have Excel automatically calculate the new monthly payment. So when we do equals PMT, PMT is the monthly payment function, we'll notice there are a few arguments. Now the first argument is rate, and that is the interest rate. So let's go ahead and select the value in B3 as our interest rate. And then a comma, and then the next argument is NPER, that stands for number of periods. So let's go ahead and point that to cell B4, which contains the number of years. And then PV is present value, that's the amount of the loan. We'll point that to B2. And let's close the function and then let's hit enter. Now what we get is a monthly payment of $6,500. And when we compare that to an online loan calculator, we notice that this number just doesn't look right. It also just doesn't feel right, right? It feels high. So like, what's the deal? So let's talk about how to set up the arguments in the right way. And before we do, let's take a look at this formatting also. This formatting is red, it has some brackets, what's going on? This is a negative number, and that's because the financial functions in Excel work off of a cash flow system. So if the 100,000 is a positive inflow to me, then the the corresponding monthly payments would be an outflow, and that's why by default, the monthly payment is gonna be expressed as a negative number. And we can easily flip the sign in a couple of different ways. An easy way is just to simply throw a negative sign right in front of the PMT function and hit enter, and now we've got it. Okay, so let's figure out these arguments and what's going on. The key is that the arguments all have to express the same time duration. That's the key. In other words, if we are calculating a monthly payment, our interest rate has to be expressed in months and the number of periods has to be expressed in months. If, however, we wanted to find the quarterly payment, the interest rate would need to be a quarterly rate and the number of periods would need to be the number of quarters. And if we wanted to calculate the annual payment, then our interest rate needs to be expressed in an annual rate and the number of periods need to be expressed in years. So what's going on here is this interest rate is expressed in years, it's an annual rate. The number of periods is expressed in years, right, 30 years, but we are trying to calculate a monthly payment. And that's why our monthly payment amount looks so weird. This is actually an annual payment. And now that we understand that our arguments need to all be expressed in the same time period or duration, let's go ahead and try writing this function again. We're trying to calculate the monthly payment. So equals PMT. All right, so the rate needs to be expressed in a monthly rate. How do we do that? We simply point it to the annual rate and then divide it by 12, comma. And then the number of periods. Currently, cell B4 is expressed in years. We need it to be expressed in months. So we need to multiply that by 12. And then comma, present value is what it is. Close the function and hit enter. Now we get a true monthly payment, okay? And so that is the, the secret, I guess, of using the PMT or payment function. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. Check it out. So that's how the monthly payment function works in Microsoft Excel. Hopefully this helps. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 